All right, happy launch day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin the story so far. I guess we can. Uh, we can do this first, just so we know where we are. We saw what we heard, what we felt. This planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries from mercy. I'm playing... Playing on my big TV feels amazing. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor One. Okay, now the game sound is low. It, I need to increase it one more. Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. Her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story. Oh, it's Red 13 talking. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova. The cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the whispers willed it. Fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. But the fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, 
that a new journey began. So from here on, the story changes. All right, uh, let me. The sound increases. Five should be good then. Yeah, five should be fine. Six was too much. Uh, I mean, we can put that on, it's fine. Dynamic, active, let's go! <laughs> I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai, and has begun investigations into the matter. Shindra propaganda news. Oh my god, Zack is a... Wait! What the hell is going on? the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plate. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought I had another reactor blew up, which must have been zero, caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see... Oh, over there! Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one suspect so right. unaccounted for. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here! You got board! Prepare for takeoff! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. <laughs> Quick, get the camera off them! Come on, this way. Contact 
the sortie. Targets have been secured. We are expelling via helo now. Move it. We're taking off. What? Hey, turn that off. The, the survivors are being taken away. I can't hear them. They're being fired. Oh no, I have to wait till you. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, I get to play Zack! Oh, Wolf, let's fucking go! Oh geez, he cheers for 81 months, holy moly. Thank you, thank you. Dead end there. I can't swing my sword. Maybe here. Oh.
up and search! This is so messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. I'm so confused. I don't know where we are in the timeline right now. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And the little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, mm. out of nowhere... I mean that scene life. just before this one. A mission. Really coming down, huh? Hey, man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure I did this good. part in the demo. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Nice squats. <laughs> hey, rein it in. Sorry. No can do. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on a mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wu Tai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. Hm. Well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. <sighs> Fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our 12! Let's go. Take the other.
He was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I did watch that, Alternus. I'm loving it. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. The best they had. Dead City is pretty good too. I watched it. It's pretty amazing. I've already done, done this part uh, in the demo, but I don't have it recorded, so I'll... Tell me, I won't skip the cutscenes. I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents, though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting to that. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Oh, I'm going to sniff T fast panties soon. How did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away and all that. Uh huh. Mom too first. Huh? You went to my place? I guess we got to her place first. I figured you might be there. I 
love it. Well, you don't have to play a remake to play this, but... So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. Was At the, the beginning, you get to hear a recap of remake story. A short recap. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there. <sighs> Cloud. But obviously, you should play it. Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. <laughs> You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. It's really sad, the truth. He never saw his mo actually never saw his mom again. Wait a second. You not even it. this. We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. At least in the original, now things will change in Rebirth. Keep in mind. That most of them had to do with you. Shard Sangam, a humble traveler of the world, and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. It is, yeah. Hmm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? <laughs> you could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, one hundred and twenty-eight. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. <laughs> didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? 
I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. Will do. Tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there? That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? There? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Waiter. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Evil. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Just like the first game, you can find MP restoration and potions in, in those. In those crates. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel in the I've seen a few reactors in my time. But one is such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. <laughs> Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. Trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. You really are the best there is.
seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. Parry those. <laughs> Just parry them, they will kill themselves. Now. Brace yourself. That was awesome. You think? If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. Uh, Final Fantasy VII, three, uh, seven Rebirth demo save data confirmed. Yeah, cause I or cause I already w uh, wait. I let you guys decide. Alternus, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Do you wanna see this part or should I skip? I guess I don't have it or record it, so I guess I'll play it. Plus, I need to get more get more muscle memory for the combat and stuff. You're done. Piece of cake. Punisher mode is so nice. Do better than that, can't you? So fucking cute. Just you watch. Oh, these ones you have to dodge more than block. I would stagger him before he hits me. Oh well. Okay, let's finish this. Gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Oh, you can lock target. Rest in peace, oh, this is the AF Opera Omnia, yeah. We had good memories with it. Uh, 
Um, I don't know what they are weak to. No, thought not fire. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> yeah, get those squats in. Better. Cool. See you at the reactor. Yeah, basic stuff, equip materia. Oh, you can do that, OZ? That's good to know. Well, eventually, if you get stronger, I guess. Materia tutorial? Not really. I'll explain it myself as we go. Just like the original game, you can level up your materia, they become stronger, spells, so on and so forth. Punish. Punisher mode you can uh, counter below, yeah? <laughs> Jesus, they hit hard on hard mode. They hit really hard. Piece of cake. Maybe they... Maybe I should try Blizzard. Dealt good damage. You're done. I gotta say, that one felt pretty good. See a materia. Oops. Wind materia. Let's equip that bad boy. This 
way. Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. Good thing I almost made you our guide. Good thing I reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Lead on. Yes! Level boost materia. Let's do this. Let's equip wind materia with the level boost. So you see some equipment have two materials linked to each other. Blue materials give effect to the linked green materia. In this case it's a level boost which makes us be able to cast Aurora. Without having to level the materia first, so I guess if I gain a level, then I will be able to use Airoga, which is pretty cool. Equip the ice. No, I do have it equipped. Wind ice, yeah. Fire. Healing. We can use assets, why not, for now. This part's almost 50 minutes, let's start the next one. 